Welcome to Fondo Drilling Engineering. A drill string of several kilometers length for a deep borehole consists of mostly drill pipes screwed together. But the bottom 50 to 100 meters are filled with electronics. Here we can find a variety of sensors to measure a variety of rock properties and to tell us where we are and where we are going. There's also a lot of computer power installed to collect these values, process them, and finally convert them into a binary code, which can then be transferred to the surface. This transfer of data to the surface, consisting of strings of zeros and ones, is very difficult in a borehole, because many transfer methods which come to our mind will not work in a borehole environment. For example, if you want to use a cable in the drill string, you would have to connect the cable every 10 meters before making up the thread connection between two pipes. If you place the cable on the outside of the drill string, it will get destroyed as soon as you start to rotate the drill string in the borehole. Electromagnetic telemetry will also not work deep in the earth as there will be no reception there. Acoustic tractor transmission via the methyl drill string will also not work reliably over long distances. The only reliable method of transferring deep boreholes is what we call the so-called mud pulse telemetry. In the graphics here, you can see a man in a garden with two garden hoses. We know from experience that the pressure in the hose increases if we pinch off a portion of the hose at its front end. If we release the pinch, the pressure in the hose will fall back to the lower level. This same idea is used to transmit zeros and ones from the bottom of the hole to the surface. And we have an experiment here to help us demonstrate it. There is a hose attached to our drilling string. This represents the pressure line coming from the mud pumps to the, drill, to the drilling rig. On the rig floor, we have the pressure indicator to display the pressure in the system. The second hose simulates the drill string, which leads down to the drill bit at the bottom. So, with our pliers, I can pinch the hose when I want to transfer a one, and I let go of it when I want to transfer a zero. The higher pressure in the system represents a one, and the lower pressure represents a zero. This way, I can transfer, for example, a signal one one zero one zero or any other binary string i choose in reality there is no little man with plier down inside the borehole but we have a device called a mud pulsar valve that opens and reduces the cross flow section in a certain sequence here you can see a real mud pulsar valve from the field the pressure fluctuations in the drill string are measured at the standpipe on the rig floor which is behind me here. Here we have an electric pressure sensor installed. From there, the pressure signals are transferred to computers in the directional driller's cabin. The computer evaluates the pressure readings, identifies which of the two different pressure levels is at present each time. It can, it can identify the zeros and ones in the signal. With further processing, the received string of zeros and ones is translated back into data and finally displayed on the screen in the directional driller's cabin and on the rig floor. With this information at hand, the directional driller can guide the borehole accurately to the target reservoir in the earth. In detail, this whole process of data transmission is a bit more complicated than what we just presented here. We are ready to tell you more about it in our lecture, Drilling Engineering 2, here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Glukov.